What's up, Raft Gang? Welcome back to another video. Now, this is going to be a really cool video on some re very affordable fiber HDMI cables. This is sent to me by Waham. Now, they have an amazing fiber optic HDMI 2.1 cable that you can use on a variety of, of great products. PS5, Xbox Series X, high-end PC, 300 cards, 3,000 cards. And uh, you can use this across the like, home theater, in classrooms, boardrooms, gaming area, you name it. And uh, they come in a variety of different lengths. Uh, I chose the uh, five meter, 16 footer, uh, just so I have enough room to move my wire around. But I think this is the fantastic way to go, guys. This is gonna be a, a very affordable, high end, high speed fiber HDMI cable you wanna look into. I'm gonna hook this up to uh, my PS5 and my Xbox Series X and my HDMI 2.1 Onkyo 7100 receiver. And we can go through uh, the three uh, sources and uh, make sure it's all good, right? Also make sure now, when you hook it up HDMI fiber cables, there's a source and a display end. So you gotta make sure you connect, connect it the right way. So I'm gonna unbox this for you, show you the cable, and let's go through a few specs on their uh, on their webpage here, and we can see some details on it. Let's get it. All right, guys, so here we go. Now you see the various sizes here. We got three footers, six footer, 10 footer, 16, 25, 33, and 50 footers, guys. And look at the prices right now. And then also, guys, right now, if you order in August, you get an extra 20% off coupon, and if you use my link, HDMI Raft Cave, you get another 10% off your order as well. So make sure you hit that link below in the description and pick yourself up some new fiber optical HDMI 2.1 cables for all your devices. And uh, yeah, let's get it. So you're looking at the specs here, 8K, 4K 120, 2K 144, up to 10K, lossless, full audio, full VRR, full ALLM, low latency across the board backwards compatible as well as so you can use this on your all your devices not just the super high end but all your hdmi sources as well let's look at a few pictures here now you see the cable here you have a source the black and the display the white so the white goes into your display your monitor your tv your projector and the black is going to come out of your devices like your xbox your playstation your computer all your devices so make sure you hook it up the correct way now it's going to give you that really high quality performance chip inside for HDMI 2.1 to make sure that all your signal is clean, clear, fast, no distortion, and very smooth and low latency. That's very, very important, guys. So absolutely fantastic. Multiple devices, multiple ways to hook it up. So not a problem there, guys. And we look down below here and we got some larger pictures of it. So it's going to pass Dolby Vision, HDR, HDR10+, Plus, the whole shebang, the audio, Atmos, DTSX, you name it. Tons of devices. It's fantastic, guys. So, Waham's got a great cable here. Very affordable cable to look at. Yeah, check it out, guys. You got some really good, really good technology here. Very durable as well. Over 10,000 bends you can do this cable in. So, construction-wise, you're totally fine with this bad boy. All right, guys. Let's check out the actual cable. Look at look at, at a close-up of it, and then we'll hook it up and test it out. Let's go. All right, guys. So, you get this little package here. It's how it comes in the box. All right. Get a little diagram in front here. Waham. And here's the cable, guys. Right, so we have the... See that, guys? Display and the source. 8K HDMI. Nice quality cable. Very bendy. No problemo. And uh, yeah, this is great, guys. I'm going to hook this up and uh, test it out. Let's go. All right, guys. So we have the cable connected to our Xbox Series X. And we also have it connected to the back of our PS5. Right there. And then we also have it connected to the back of our LG OLED. Make sure you have the display and the source correct. And now we'll go uh, test it out. All right, Raf Gang, so you saw all the cables connected to my devices and the back of my receiver. Now we have the TV showing PlayStation 5 first. And I'm uh, doing a quick test here. If we go to the settings and we go down to the screen and we go to video information, confirming 4K at 60. Uh, we got the HTCP 2.3. We got VRR supported, HDR supported, all across the board there. And we have VRR 
automatic, ALLM, HDR, deep color, 120 hertz, all good for PS5. And uh, quick gameplay here. Absolutely awesome. Looks great. No lag. And it's fantastic. Very good for PS5. Now, we move on to Xbox Series X. Instant game launched. And we go to uh, settings here. And we got the 4K at 120. Video modes, everything checked off. Dolby Vision, variable refresh rate, ALLM. And we go to 4K details, and we have green check marks across the board. This is just a, a, a caution when using Dolby Vision for gaming at 4K 120. There might be some input latency, which is, which is understandable. There's not a lot of Dolby Vision games out there, and not too many Dolby Vision gaming TVs out there as well. And to confirm we're at the 120 on this one, we got VRR enabled, 4K 120 at 12 bit. Very, very cool. And now if we go to Gears 5, which is the only Dolby Vision game that I know of, keep an eye on the top right. Dolby Vision is activated. And we check our specs here, and we got VRR enabled, 4K 120, and Dolby Vision Gaming. So, cable's fantastic, no hiccups, everything checks, mark, checks off just fine. And, of course, Dolby Atmos Sound is, of course, running it as well. So, uh, great cable, guys, very affordable cable. There's 20% off on my link below, and then also use the promo code HDMI RAFCAVE for another 10% off, and get your uh, fiber optical HDMI cable in your home today. Thanks for watching, guys. Like, subscribe, share, and see you in the next one. Home theater rules. Raph out. See you guys.